it's your fault. Their dogs have turned their dream life <laughs> into a living nightmare. <laughs> oh my god, did he just bite you? Yeah, he got me. Xander bit our cleaning lady. It's absolutely mortifying. The couple is headed for disaster. You roll your eyes whenever Lindsay's talking. Listen, That's insulting. I don't want to live the rest of my life like this. I got it. I'm taking charge now. You listen to me. Xander is ripping apart our relationship. You always laugh. You laugh when he bites me. You think it's funny. Lindsay needs to get over the whole situation that we're in right now. I love Jason, but it's got to be me or Xander. Dog trainer Victoria Stillwell is Jason and Lindsay's last home. Coming into the apartment, I have a Yorkshire Terrier coming up to me, barking and jumping up at me. And there's a little wild look in his eye. Hi, good Jason. to meet you. Very good nice to meet, to meet you, Jason. Too. Whoa. These are the little guys. That's Xander and this is Norman, wherever you want. Yeah, he can see you. Hello, sweetheart. So, look, what's the problem with these dogs? Oh, sweet. <laughs> Xander is a biter. Oh. Is he? Oh, yes. He actually he did die. leave a mark and broke skin recently with a cleaning lady. You're lucky you didn't get sued. Yes. He doesn't like when people come or go. OK. Um, so whenever anybody leaves, he freaks out. When you try to leave, you literally get bit. So uh, leave. I want to okay. see what he does. Sure. Stay. <laughs> And he does that every single time. There are times where it's worse than that. When I come into a house, it is my job, right from the word go, to stop the dog rehearsing the negative behavior that it's been doing. Have you ever gone in, gone out, and come back in again? Yeah, yeah. Jason That's that. what the last dog trained OK. Because I sensitize him to Yeah, dog. and that I think that's really, really important. I've tried a bunch of different dog trainers, and that didn't work. We need Victoria to show us you know, what we have to do. We definitely need her help. We're going to turn this area of such angst for him into an area of fun, like this. Play and go find. Good. I want to play games in the front door, feed treats in the front door. I want to show Xander that people going through the front door doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to leave. Then I just like to open the door and not even go out. Good boy. Go find it. You are going to have to do this all the time until he is no longer reacting at the door. Good boy. Fine. OK. That looks pretty good. I think Victoria clearly knows what she's doing. She, you know, she exited the apartment without getting bit. I mean, I feel like we're in great hands. Lindsay, in order to get Xander to a better place, you are going to have to do this all the time. Every time. Open the every, door, you have to do the every, every single, single time. time, or even it's okay. I got it. You don't have to start now saying, I'm not. "Okay, you got it." No, you are. Okay. You're right, I am. The time for recriminations, the time for arguing, the time for blame, the time for apologies—that's over. Now, going to work together as a team so that the dogs can succeed. Mm -hmm. I'm taking charge now. You listen to me. All righty. You don't only do it when you're going out. You do it all day. The tension between the couple is clear, and Victoria wants to find out where it's coming from. What do you do? I'm, a, I'm an attorney. Attorney, OK. So you work long hours? Yeah, I work fairly long hours. Why did you get a dog? Um, a lot of reasons. I just wanted one. Um, Your ex-girlfriend wants one. ex-girlfriend. So he was left for long hours? Yes. Is yeah. this behavior at the door because he doesn't want people going? He did it from the beginning, from the first day I got him. I resent the fact that now I have to train a dog that I never bought just because he was too lazy and didn't train him. I was too lazy or I didn't particularly have the time necessary to do it. I'm seeing Lindsay and Norman and Jason and Xander. I see blame on both sides, excuses being made for the dog's behavior. Now it's come to the point because I have put my foot down and I'm saying that I don't want to live the rest of my life like this, that now we are here. It took about eight months for Jason to be like, OK, fine, let's get a trainer. And you didn't listen to any of his suggestions. I, he didn't even talk to me. Lindsay and Jason are at odds. I did not partake in any of the training. You guys were outside of the apartment the entire time. I can't tell you how frustrating it is for me. All right, well, I'm here now. Yes, <laughs> thankfully. With things getting heated inside, Victoria wants to see how the dogs and owners behave outdoors. 
a restaurant up here. If we could just sit outside and maybe eat something and see what they're like. Yeah, sure. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. He always does. Xander. OK, relax. Xander. Xander was barking like crazy, not sitting still, disrupting us, disrupting everybody around him. Just a complete disaster. Xander! He's not behaving. I'm gonna take him upstairs. It's really like annoying. Come on, buddy. Come on. It's not fun. It's no, it's fun. not. Jason's made it very clear that he's not, he would never get rid of Xander. Hopefully, something's gonna work. If not, we have to have a serious conversation because it's not, it can't stay like this. So if what I do doesn't, doesn't work, that's a lot of pressure. Back at home. So how have things been going? I got bit. You did? My arm. Here. And I told Jason it was the last time that Xander was gonna bite me. I walked into a lion's den with Jason and Lindsay. The tension was palpable. If the dog needs a muzzle on a 24-hour basis, I'm OK with that. Jason's not, but I am. I'm not being bit anymore. Sit down. Sit down. I want to talk. If I don't get Jason and Lindsay in line, there's nothing I can do to help the dogs. I was carrying the laundry bag that was full, and that's when he jumped up on the laundry bag and bit me. When you know that he's going to be upset and jump and bark and bite, and you just leave and don't try to do anything. It's my fault okay. the dog bit me when I left. It's my, my fault that I was carrying the laundry bag to the door so I could get detergent. You roll your eyes whenever Lindsay's talking. Listen, That's insulting. She doesn't do anything. But I want to. It's it... been your dog for four years. All right, I, 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 I've been biding my time, just looking and seeing how things are going. And I, I've got to put it down on the table yeah, for you. Yeah, please, yeah. What I see here really distresses me. My aim is to get both of you to learn to love each other's dogs. Are you ever, how, how do you feel about Xander at this point? Are I can't you ever, stand him. You can't, right. I'm not stomach him. Okay. I'm not putting up with it anymore. It's the last time that I got bit. Done. The only way that Xander can go is if he's put down. That's it. You cannot rehome this liability. And don't even think about having children with this dog around the way he is. That's the reality of the situation. I'm being totally truthful with you. I have no idea where that leaves us. I don't know. <laughs> so, situation is serious, and I'm telling you, you are gonna have to put in 50% of the work. These are your dogs, both of you. You are gonna have to follow through. You are gonna have to be consistent, and you cannot even slip up once. You don't have any choice. Both of you have no choice. With the stakes so high for the couple, Victoria is determined to give them as many tools as possible for their success. This is a dry erase board. It's going to rely on both of you working together to create a schedule. The schedule is just another tool to get them on the same page. Because less arguments between them is going to mean less tension, is going to mean the dogs are calmer. What are we starting with? Waking up? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Okay, right from so the beginning. Wake up, walk the dogs. So who's going to walk the dogs? Usually me. Usually you. Okay, so Norma's coming to work with you. Uh-huh. So feed both dogs and then pee walk. Yeah. Okay, so Jason plays the go finds it to leave. We need to really just try to stick to what, you know, Vic has taught us and her schedule and not argue about who's right, who's wrong, and try to, you know, set the ship in the right direction. I'll grab Xander and I'll take them both for a walk. Are you back at this point? Probably by this point, you know, seven or eight o'clock. So are you able to do any of the walking or not? I can do the long walk when I get home, or we can do it together. I was surprised how this is going. They're actually communicating, and they're on the same page regarding the dogs. Do you know, you actually got through that without arguing about the, about the dogs. <laughs> This schedule's got to go where you're going to see it every day. Bridge. And this schedule means, gosh, really no arguments. Victoria decides to train Lindsay first. So I just want you to stop playing with him. And I'm going to feed you toys and all sorts of things. Okay. All right. I just want you to say, hey, good boy. OK? okay? Good boy. Right. Good boy. He doesn't trust you, see? Come on. Nice. Good boy. Build the trust up with the game first before you even touch the door. Go find. Go find. Good boy. Go find it. Good boy. You ready? 
Go now, next it. time, then you open the door just a little bit. That's it. Tell him now. Chuck it out the door. Yeah, go out the door and throw it out. Go get it. Go find it. Nice. Sander. Sander. Go find it. Where Throw am I ball. throwing it? In Throw it time. into the apartment. You ready? <gasps> go get it. Yeah. All right. Good boy. <gasps> yeah, go get it. Yeah. Next time you throw it, you'll be able to just shut the door and leave. OK. <gasps> go get it. Yeah. Good. Even though Xander came and jumped up at the door, he didn't bark. There was no biting. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Once Xander is desensitized to the process of people leaving, the couple can go in and out as they please, but for the moment, they have to work on the training or they have to manage the situation. Jason, you do have a difficult dog here. Mm -hmm. And I think that makes it even more important for you guys to be able to work together. Right. Good boy, Xander. And I want lovely, lovely, I love okay. that. We've been told by a professional what we need to do. So there's no, you know, oh, well, I think this is better. No, I think this is better. Now we know it's better from Victoria. I think we both feel more confident about the ability to train our dogs and make our lives better together. Let's go. Goodbye, Jason. Bye, thank and you so I'll much. See you hopefully. Thank you well, so much. I'm really... going to be watching you. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm hoping you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're like, no way. Come on, well, let's go. Go, Dad. Good. You continue to do the training with Xander as much as possible and let him into your heart. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Thank you. I really, really hope that they embrace what we've done and go forward with it because their dogs are worth it. And so are they. Thank you so much for your and time. You are welcome and best of luck, all right? Thank you. All right, bye. It's been a couple of weeks since I left Jason and Lindsay, and things have really turned around for the couple. I think the biggest success since Victoria has left has been the Go Find It game. All right, so let's go try to do some laundry. Okay. I haven't left the apartment without playing it once. Go find it. Good boy. The Go Find It is, is definitely working. Go find it. It's been amazing, and we have ease going into and out of our apartment. He's not getting to that, you know, upset level. We're not getting bit. He's not barking like a maniac. Who's a good boy? That was so nice. It's fantastic that Jason and Lindsay can finally leave without being bitten. Now, guests can visit them safely. 